All right, let's add the CSS to our landing page. I got the HTML all done. Now we'll go to our style.css. And remember, Replit does this for us, but we need this link element right here that links to style.css so that it knows to apply the styles in this document. Okay. So if we look at this wonderful thing, maybe the first thing we'll do is uh, center everything, text align, center, and I'm just going to do that on the body, right? All the select the body and say all content in the body, text align, center. Okay, hit run, and there you go. And that's more efficient than having to go h1 text align center, h2 text align center, paragraph text align center, right? This says select everything in the body, center it. Okay, why don't we also, um, let's get that background image. Okay, so on the body, we're going to go background, and we can do colors here, right? Background red, that's going to look beautiful. Um, or RGB colors, or um, hexadecimal colors. Uh, this should be green. Oops. Hit run. Do a nice little preview there, that's cool. But we want to do an image, and for that we go URL. And inside of here, in quotations, we put the path to the image we want to use, which is in our image folder. So img slash landscape.jpg. And hit run, and there it is. Kind of. Okay, let's do this full screen. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so we did text line center. We got the background image. Oh, let's look at fonts. And I think the main font I used here was Arial. I might have done something different on uh, on this one here, but uh, let's let's double check. Um, right, we we can do whatever we want. Just play around with it. Um, what I like to do sometimes for fonts is in the font family in the body, I'm going to go Arial, and it gives me this. This I'm going to do that. It just says try Arial. If the, the computer doesn't have Arial, use Helvetica. If it doesn't, just do a general sans serif font, which is a font without lines on it. Okay, um, and if I apply that, we'll see that it's that that type of thing there. Okay, um, that's the font families there. Oh, we should probably also push things down from the top. Um, what I'm going to do there on the body is do padding, uh, padding top, and I don't know, something like 200 pixels maybe. Yeah, that pushes it down, and if we go here, we can see it a lot better. Okay, awesome. You can also get this. Cool. That looks better, too. Okay, um, what other things can we do here? Let's start looking at this H1, because I think in the final one, yeah, it's way bigger. So let's enlarge that font size for that H1. So I will select the H1. And go font size, I think I use 70 pixels. Bam! Okay, good. Um, sometimes for headings like this, um, you can play around with how the thickness of the lines with font weight, how heavy they are. And you get all these different values, bold, bolder, inherit. I think it's at bold right now. Let's try doing like 500. Hit run there. And it just makes it a little skinnier of a line. I think it looks a little cleaner. Okay, that's cool. Um, why don't we look at the H? No, the H2 looks pretty good, I think. What is your main focus today? This paragraph here needs to be larger. Um, so I can go paragraph, font size. Um, I think the default is usually 16 pixels. The default paragraph size. Let's go 24 pixels. Okay, that makes it look a little bigger. That's good. Um, now, we're going to notice something. These were paragraphs as well, and they got a lot bigger, and I don't want them to get bigger. I want them to stay regular paragraph size. So I only want this font size to apply to the one paragraph. So remember, we can go into here. And this one paragraph, learn more about computing science, which is my focus for today. I can go into the opening tag, give it an ID attribute. Uh, let's call it focus. All right, this is what my focus is for the day. And then in my style.css, 
I can go hashtag or pound sign focus. And now that only applies to this one. I think for this paragraph, I also did some letter spacing to spread it out a little bit more. Let's go 0 0.5 pixels, stretches it out a little bit, makes it a little easier to read. Um, I think this one, just to make it stand out a little bit better, I did do a font family of Verdana. And again, there's all these backup fonts. This is the primary one that it should use. Cool. Just because of a slight little difference makes it stand out a bit more. Okay, and you know, it looks like there's more space between this HR and that line there. Uh, we can do that with margin bottom, right? This paragraph, if I hit F12 here, go to the elements. Where are we? This one right here, right? This paragraph, it has that margin on the bottom. But we want it to be to be larger, to push it down a little bit more. Okay, so we can do that. Margin bottom of, I have no idea, 50 pixels, 60 pixels, something like that. And you can tweak, always tweak a little bit. Okay, these HRs are stretching all the way across the screen. That's the default. They have a width of 100%. So we're going to make those a little smaller. Um, so I'll select the HRs, and I want to select both of them, so that's fine. And again, we'll just go with, say, maybe 600 pixels. Uh, run that. Okay, that looks all right. And it looks like we might have made these, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to change the color of this, um, what we're actually seeing on this HR is the border, the, th the thin border on it. So when I want to change that, I can go border, let's go two pixels, solid, red, just so we can really see it. Okay, so you can control the thickness with that, and we'll control the color, let's just do like a gray. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're getting there, almost done, I think. Um, this paragraph, I want it to be italics. Okay. How do I do that again? Okay. Um, oh yeah, right. So if I, again, same problem. Sorry, I should go to my HTML. This paragraph here that I want to have, that quote that I want to have italics, I have the same problem as I did with uh, the font size here. Is if I go paragraphs and go font style, I think it is, italic, yeah. That's going to make it for all of the paragraphs. So I'm going to create an ID called, oops, an ID called quote. And in here, we'll give this paragraph the ID of quote. So that italics just applies to that one. Okay, it looks good. Got to hit refresh on this one. All right, looking good, centered. Okay, just that image needs to get smaller. And now that image, you can do that actually in the CSS if you wanted to, or I often just do the width equals 40 pixels right here. Um, you can specify width and height, but if you just give it a width, it'll automatically scale. So that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe we could make it, uh, uh, make it a little lower here. That doesn't matter. I don't know. No, that looks fine. But if you wanted to make it lower, you could add like a, a padding top on this or a margin top or something like that. Or, or actually on the HR, you could do like a margin bottom to push it down. I think that's more common. Okay, but I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so a combination of, of headings and paragraphs and, and an image here. These HRs are style sheet to get the background image and you get uh, a nice little landing page like this. And like I said, later on, we'll add JavaScript to this so we can prompt the user for their name, and we'll put their name in here, and we'll ask them what their focus is, and we'll put their focus in here. Okay, anyway, I hope that made sense. Um, feel free to play around with this, right? Choose different background images, maybe a different question, have a different quote, um, play around with different fonts, different colors, whatever you want. 
have some fun with it. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.